Today we're playing Ermac early in Mortal Kombat 1. For anyone not aware, this character does appear in story mode despite not being fully available until Combat Pack 1. However, thanks to some die-hard fans in the modding community, we can play this undead sorcerer early and have a look at his special moves and attack strings. And this character actually has a big secret, so post in the comments if you figure it out. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Dungeon Hunter 6. In this game, killing a boss is never the end. For every boss you defeat, you can loot them, ride around on them, or fly on them, and you can even summon up to three of them to join you on your squad, making them follow you around everywhere and perform combo skills. Lastly, you can even shapeshift into the bosses to harness their ultimate abilities. With over 100 unique designed bosses to conquer and explore, and new classes and units updated monthly, the fun you have with these bosses in battle is endless. And have you noticed how amazing this game looks? Dungeon Hunter 6 takes its 3D graphics performance to the next level with stunning skill animations optimized for multicasting, ensuring the best visual experience and smoothest combat on a mobile device. And of course, every video game is more fun with friends. So in Dungeon Hunter 6, you can play with guildmates and battle in real-time guild wars. And of course, you can grind with a variety of skill tree options to test different builds. And if you ever get any items you don't want, you can trade them via the auction system. As you can see, Dungeon Hunter 6 has a lot to offer. It's honestly the most fun I've had with a mobile game in a long time. And it's completely free to download, so click my link in the video description or scan the QR code on screen. Because guess what? You get a special starter pack worth $50, which includes 10 summoning scrolls, one SSR lieutenant, demonic wolf, and one accessory pack. And after creating your game account, you can enter the launch lucky spin event for free to win great prizes like an iPhone 15 Pro Max, PS5, and more starting October 15th. So make sure to check out the description for more details. Okay, first time playing this character, so I'm just gonna fiddle around with the buttons. Nope, nope. Oh, that's his lift. Let's go. What's it like? Ooh, it just knocks him down. Pretty cool. Telekinetic slam, baby. Does it have an EX version? Can I meter burn? Yes, I can. And I can combo after it. All right. Teleport? Does he have a teleport? Okay, no teleport. Not in the game yet. Okay, does not have that. What about... Oh, he got a projectile, baby. Yo, he's got a projectile. I love the green glow, too. Looking really, really cool. How about some attack strings? What's he got? He's got a square square. Is it a triangle? No. Does he have a circle or an A? Oh, look at that. So he has the 113 string. Pretty dang dope. Do you recognize that? Does that string look familiar to anybody watching? How about this string? 212. Does that look familiar? Well, it should, because both of these strings belong to Noob Saibot in Mortal Kombat 11. Or in other words, Netherrealm took these strings and put them straight into Mortal Kombat 1 to create a temporary version of Ermac. This is not how he's gonna be in Combat Pack 1, I can assure you. And then as for the special moves, this slam is from Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 11, and this projectile is also taken straight from Mortal Kombat. 11, it's Noob Saibot's Ghost Ball. Or maybe it's a Spirit Ball, I honestly can't keep track, but it's one of those two projectiles. And then when it comes to his back throw, it's literally Shang Tsung's back throw in this game, which I believe is a callback to the classic games, which is awesome. I still love how it looks, honestly. And as for the sweep, I don't know whose sweep this is, actually. It could also be Shang Tsung's, not entirely sure. And then if I teabag, check this out, baby, T-pose on him to assert dominance. How incredible is that? As you can see, Ermac is quite limited in this game, but even so, with the help of Serena, we can still pull off some pretty swaggy combos, I bet. What's the damage? Gotta figure it out. So this string, 93, but leaves them standing. This string, ooh, does more damage at 121, which means I can do this. Telekinetic slam. And then slam again. Oh, it dropped. That should have worked. Why did it not reach? Dang it. Actually, does this do more damage? That does 70. What's the slam? Slam does 90, but it's two hits, so I'm not actually sure which one hurts more. That does 175. 190. So it does do more to slam, for sure. Absolutely does more damage to slam, which is interesting. Okie dokie. It's actually more damaging than Shang Tsung's slam in Mortal Kombat 11. All right, here we go. One more time. I've done that combo before. I think it should work. Hiya! There we go. Oh, almost 36%. Not too bad for one bar in a cameo, but also not great either. Actually, that might be pretty bad. His damage is pretty low, but he's not finished, okay? He's incomplete. He's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich without the jelly, okay? He's just peanut butter right now, but that's still a tasty sandwich. Peanut butter sandwich, still pretty fun. Oh, and actually, do I have time to do a jump in? Some characters get a jump in. I do! He gets a jump in. A lot of characters don't get that, but some do. His jump is fast enough. 
Boom! Okay, now we're getting 37, almost 38%. Pretty cool stuff. I definitely wish he did more damage, and I'm shocked he doesn't have a couple more special moves. For some reason, I thought for sure he flew at me in the game, but I guess not. Ooh, look at that damage. That's pretty damaging. 70 all by itself. What's this? Also 70, 50. How much is this again? 93. That That's pretty good damage, but so is this. Maybe I should end combos with that instead, you think? Might get more damage. Oh, but they're knocked too far away. That's the issue. They're knocked really far away. In the corner, that would work, though. Could do some swaggy stuff in the corner. And also, can I loop the slam? I might be able to loop that telekinetic slam. Let's find out. Yeah, the game don't care. I can do it as many times as I want. So as long as you have the meter, theoretically, you could catch him with this string. Ah, the last one didn't hit, but you get the idea. Like, you can get a lot of hits with that thing, and if I hadn't launched him with the first string, I could have done that. Or I could have finished it, I mean. Because <laughs> he stays in the air for a bit longer, see that? The more you launch the opponent, the faster they fall. Makes sense. Otherwise, this game would have a ton of infinites. Oh, the last part didn't quite reach. Dang it, I wish it did. I really wish it did. In the corner, I bet we can get some pretty swaggy stuff. Let's move to the corner, see what we can get here. Keep in mind, moves like this that launch the opponent will do less and less damage as well, but look at that, 375, no cameo either, that was no cameo, if I wanted the cameo. And that's a gift, a lot of characters can't do that. Ugh, 42%, we cracked the 420, baby! Let's see it in the comments, baby, 420, blaze it, let's go. I don't even do the devil's lettuce, but I bet Quan Chi does. Look in the background, we're definitely burning some green over there. Anyway, the point is, Ermac has some swag in the corner, in fact, you could do two of her. Ooh, swag. Ooh, swag. Don't be too fast. Ooh, swag. Ooh, we cracked a 45% threshold. And that was just two meter burns. Theoretically, you could do three. Oh, come on. I can taste it. Give me 50%. Oh, I dropped it. Oh. We'll never know if that combo does 50% because now it's time to switch the cameos because Scorpion has this amazing ability and I wonder if it lets me combo off this. I bet it does if timed correctly. Oh, they're not quite bounced high enough? Dang it. The dream might be dead. It might be dead before it was even born. Son of a... I wanted it to work. It does kind of work. It does kind of work. Really weird timing, though. But it does work. Maybe if you do it, like, immediately. Yeah, you gotta do it immediately. You gotta treat it like it's part of the same string, pretty much. I still don't like it. I don't think it's good enough. Maybe we should switch to Sonya? Or somebody? But who brings them close enough in, though? That's the thing. I want them to come into me. Anyway, here's a scorpion combo. We can still do something cool. Oh, too far away. Too far away. Dang it. I really thought Scorpion would be the guy, but... He's really not that guy, pal. Maybe in the corner he can be that guy? Let's see. Because in the corner it's gonna be much easier to combo this, right? Like, surely it's a lot easier. Yeah, in the corner we can make him work, but once again I want to update these save positions. Coolio. So, theoretically... Oh, he went high. He went high. That worked out pretty well. Hey, there we go, baby! Almost 45% for only one bar of meter. Now, it took two cameos, but still, we did it. The dream's alive. Wow, this stage is dark. Much darker than I remember, anyway. Does that work? Oh, it doesn't? I was really hoping that would work, Jax. You're telling me you can't grab him? You can't make him get some? That's really unfortunate. He's not close enough. I bet in the corner he can do it, but man, I hate having to live in the corner just to do cool stuff, but I bet it works. Yeah, look at that. And the damage is good, too. <laughs> That's the scariest part. All oh, the timing is tough, though. He kind of has to bounce first. Oh, let's go! 30% with just the one Jax assist? Pretty cool. And you could definitely loop it. Um, this does how much? 93. This does 70. It's probably better just to do this, honestly, because it doesn't launch the opponent. Oh, what do you think Shujinko can do? Place your bets in the comments down below. Do you think that Shujinko is programmed to actually steal a move from an NPC, or do you think he's just gonna take Baraka's move? That's my personal guess, but let's see what happens. It would actually be crazy if Netherrealm thought this far ahead and allowed Shujinko to take a move from Ermac and Quan Chi. That would be so sick. Let's find out. Alright, he's done meditating. Let's see. Oh! 
he just gets big. He comes in and just does nothing. Just stands there and scares him. That's his uh, half circle. <laughs> Let's see what his full circle move steal is, baby. I'm on the edge of my seat. Here we go. <laughs> He just comes in and stares at him. That's awesome. Yeah, so apparently that's what happens if Shujinko is not programmed with a move to steal. He just stands there. And even though that means he's doing literally nothing, I'm satisfied because I thought he would just steal Baraka's move because that's who's actually in the game right now. But no, he actually takes nothing and just stands there. That's awesome. All right, everyone. And that's what happens if you play Ermac early in Mortal Kombat 1. You get two special moves, two attack strings, a Shang Tsung's throw, and a couple other stolen moves. But also, he's got the voice lines and dialogue, so that's kind of cool. And like you saw earlier, he does have some swaggy combos, so he might not be finished or anything like this in Combat Pack 1. But still, it's really cool getting the chance to play this character early. So big shoutouts to the Hook mod. I'm going to leave a link to it in the video description if you want to play Ermac yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. It really does help my channel out a ton. And then finish that combo by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, a Day Underdogs.